Hey guys, this is Sonny Solo from The Natural Lifestyles, talking to you about creating an emotional connection with a woman. This is one of the topics that I love talking about. Out of all the topics that I talk about, this one is the one I love talking about the most because I've been doing it for the longest. I've been doing it ever since I was little and I've always taken a, a lot of enjoyment in um, emotionally connecting with women. Because once you start emotionally connecting with women, you start to see many parts of them that you would have never thought that were there and it, it, it gives you so much insight into how much women are really in this energetic space of emotions all day. But for you as a man, something that I really want you to start to dive into and really investigate within yourself and show is your own emotions and your own emotional sphere. You know, your own emotion plane because your emotional plane because once you can start to really be in your heart more, I mean really physically and with your awareness, be in your heart more. Move your awareness around to your heart. Be able to sit there and be in this moment, connected to this moment, heart connected to this moment. This makes the difference between a man who's really, really able to fill into situations and fill into women and a man who can't. Because some guys are so far connected from being able to fill into the moment because they've been told their whole life not to show their emotions, to be a man, to don't be a pussy, to be someone that is able to, you know, be the rock and the strength for your women or be the rock and the strength for your family. Anything that they've been through, the thing that I want to tell those guys or even me, you know, as a person who at times wouldn't express my emotions but I was really emotionally expressive because I, I was brought up with a lot of women around me but those guys out there I would tell you that you're missing out on real connection with women because you're just not opening your heart and one of the things that I say in my other video is if you really want to have a connection with women like, like if you really want to dive into what it means to have a connection with a woman like a true connection a true energetic connection with a woman heart to heart, heart connected to the moment with her, you're going to have to open your heart to, being, to it being hurt. You're going to have to open your heart when you're in front of a woman. You're going to have to. And that what that means is if you're a person who's emotionally unexpressive, you're going to have to start going into your heart more. You're going to have to start being a man who is much more with these emotions, meaning that you're someone that's being able to express everything that's inside of you. Because that gets you in your heart. Many guys are trying to just be always this masculine thing for women and they stop for, they stop to they don't stop in any moment to think that yeah she wants you to be the masculine for her she wants you to be the man that's still a man that's uh confident a man that can take her from this moment to the next moment with a certain type of clarity but at the same time remember she has a masculine as well so she wants a part of you that's still emotional so she can uh hold space for you and many men, they're always on two sides with this. They're either too emotionally expressive or not emotionally expressive enough. And you can be completely heart connected to the moment and expressive in your heart in any moment and still be masculine. Look here. Look at somebody like Andy. Really, really soft and, and, and really lovely and really you know, warm and romantic like, like me. And at the same time, incredibly masculine, incredibly still within, and steadily strong underneath. Somebody who's able to come from their power. So if I have to take you right away into how you're going to be, uh, be able to start to be, have a better emotional connection with women, the main thing is that you're going to have to understand that connection is energetic. Until you understand that, you will always, always be going through these times of, okay, I don't understand what happened. I mean, I walked up to her, I asked her the right question, she gave me the right answer, but it still wasn't nothing there. And you know, I just didn't feel anything. And a lot of times you're not feeling anything because you're closed down in your heart, which means that your awareness is, is not in this moment in your body. If your body, if you're really bodily aware, meaning like you're fully in your body here in front of the girl, you will start to feel into what's happening. That means that you're in your heart. That means that you're somebody that can fill into what the, what the girl is feeling in this moment. And you'll be able to tailor basic, basically being able to fill into what's happening. And what it requires is you being able to pull your awareness. Because a lot of guys, they just want to put their awareness here in the dot They just want to put it there and they just want to just be there and breathe here and be present and stay there. And it's great. It's great for you to be able to be low in your awareness. Be low as you're breathing. 
so you can feel centered. But as you feel centered, I want you to understand that your heart, when you're centered and low, is open in that moment. But the moment that it comes to you expressing something, your awareness might move up and it might close down. So as your awareness is shifting between your datum and your heart, you may notice that in this moment I'm fully open and in this moment I'm fully closed. And it becomes to usually these moments where you're, you're getting to know the woman. When you're getting to know the woman, you're so much trying to get, get to know her and so much like in your mind about what's the right question and what I should do that nothing can happen. Like you can, there's no uh, way for emotional connection to happen between you and her because you are so much upstairs. And I'll talk to you later about you know, the three levels that people are at when they're trying to uh, have a communication with the woman in the sense of having a connection. But for now, I want you to understand that energetic connection is the best connection. That's the only connection. Connection is energetic. A lot of guys think that they can just get the right questions and then they'll, they'll get a connection. That's not a connection. And it's, if you think about it, the times where you have the best connection is when you didn't have to think about what's happening. If you, when you were just rolling with the moment and she was so fully there and you were so fully there that you didn't have to go upstairs and go, what's the, what's the question I should ask? What's the thing right now that I, that's going to allow me to get to, her, get to know her better? And as I'm with students on workshop, we're doing the drills and they're, they're sitting there and they're talking to the girl and our role play model. And as they're talking to a role play model, they go, so tell me, would you prefer to stay at home or to go out? And the girl goes, I prefer to stay at home. And then he goes, and I always go, bro. The answer is not over there. <laughs> the answer is not over there. The answer is not up there. The answer is not anywhere you're looking. The answer is in this moment. You must allow your breath to center you into this moment as far as you coming up with the answer. As far, this is, this is what I'm talking about coming up with questions. I don't want to get all over the place, but this is what I'm talking about when coming up to questions that a lot of guys, they always think that they can go into their mind to get the right question and the right question is never in the mind. The right question is, where is this woman at right now? Is she open? Is she closed? Okay, to that, degree, to that varying degree, I'm going to tailor my question to that. That is the right question you should ask. So, but the only way for you to be able to feel where she's at in the moment is that you must be connected to the moment. So it's never up there. And every single time he comes down, I go, look at her and breathe. And he gets a little bit scared and I go, look at her and breathe, man. I'm getting him to stay heart connected to the moment because true connection happens when you're heart connected to the moment. When you're heart connected to the moment, this is so amazing. It's so amazing for you to be in front of a woman and to fill into where she is so you can energetically fill out what's going on. Connection is energetic. And if you're a man who's always worried about, you know, okay, what is the next thing to do and what is the... Being in the moment more is going to be a thing for you, for any man. Being in the moment more is going to teach you so much about where you close down. It's going to teach you so much about why you didn't have a connection with her. Because you're going to try to logically figure it out. You're going to be like, oh, I didn't know why. I mean, I was, I was going through, you know, the questions and we, we, we seem like it could be something there, but it just never broke that, that seal. And the reason why the seal, the seal didn't break is because you just weren't heart connected to the moment. Which means that you weren't opening your heart and connecting to her. Because as you close down your heart, the energy can't flow in the moment. Your heart has a certain energy to it. And that brings me to my next point. The heart is in the now. The mind is not in the now. So if you're ever trying to logically figure out how can I have a connection with this woman, it'll never happen. Because the heart is in the now. The moment you can allow yourself to be in your heart or be connected to this moment with your heart, that's what that means. It means that in this moment, I allow my awareness to be completely in my body and I'm fully focused here with this woman. And that doesn't mean like I always stand on her intensely, but it's fully focused here and completely soft on the front. You close down because you're just, you become rigid in your body. But if you completely allow yourself to just soften, I mean physically soften, feel your, feel your face become soft, your throat become soft, your chest become soft, and you'll feel yourself become see-through. And as you become see-through, now your heart is really open. And you can be see-through like this while you're grounded. This is the for real shit. If you're talking about really emotional connection, this is the for real shit. Because all the things I talk about, you know, it stems from these body awareness things that allows me to be able to come up with these insights. 
I notice the moments when I'm connected to the woman or connected to the moment and when I'm not. And the moments where I'm fully connected to the moment with my heart, these are the moments where I have the best interactions. But the moments that I'm in my mind, this is more so in the past, not so much now. The moments where I'm in my mind, I'm, con I'm disconnected from the moment. Which means that I'm disconnected from connection. You are disconnected from connection if you're in your mind because the mind is always in the future or the past. The heart is always in the now. This is why we talk so much about coming from your heart, being able to be heart-centered when you're speaking, being able to really come from the place inside of yourself that's true and real and that's meaningful for you. And meaningful doesn't always have to be the way of being as far as you have to have a meaningful, deep connection to every single time. No, it doesn't mean that. But what it means is that when you speak, you are speaking from your most vulnerable place. And when you are vulnerable, which means that when you are soft and open, your heart can be exposed. So that means that it can be open for a connection with another person, a.k.a. a woman. When a woman is in front of the man, a woman is so connected to the moment that she can see when you're in your head. Well, many women can fill out into what's happening for you because women live in energy all day. They're more energetically smart and energetically sensitive than you are because they live in that all day. They're moved moment to moment by their emotions. And the moment you start teaching yourself how to be connected to the moment, then you're going to notice yourself oscillating between being in your mind and being in your moment. And through the oscillation, as you, as you be more connected to the moment, you'll notice yourself filling into the moment more. So as a man who really wants to um, learn connection and really wants to learn how to be fully connected to women, whether that be if you're in an open relationship, if you're in a relationship or you're in pickup, whatever it may be, meeting women on the street, you have to understand that the heart is in the now. It is in the now. The moment you can be able to be in the now, you can be in your heart. You can be here with the girl. And notice all the times where you're there fully with the girl and connected to the moment and just present, that it really goes really well. It does. It's the times where you're in your mind where things don't go well. But if you can learn how to stay connected to the moment more, things start to become really, really beautiful. When it comes to connection, it's the moment. If I had to talk about what's the three levels that people try to connect from, there's only one of them that's, that's really where they'll feel the connection. But let's think about the other two that many people get caught up in. Many people get caught up in logic to logic, mind to mind. When they're trying to go mind to mind, there's no connection at all. There's no energetic connection. There's no real true emotional connection for the, uh, for the situation. It's not. So this is when you get two people talking about details, when they start talking about you know, all the facts and stuff like that. This is the moment where they'll never ever have a connection. And the reason why they won't have a connection is because this transfer, this, this channel here from mind to mind, I mean, that's only for intellect. I mean, intellect, yeah, they may, you know, they may vibe on certain things like, oh yeah, you know, this presidential uh, thing happened and, you know, this po political thing happened and this thing happened and, and you, know, you know, yeah, did you, did you do this at this time? And that's not going to work ever. That's not going to ever work as far as a, con a connection with another person. Like the real true connection where you feel like, oh my God, I feel like I'm connected to this person. That'll never fly because that channel is not of the heart. So it'll never, never bring you the connection that you're looking for. This is why I tell guys, don't go upstairs, and I'll keep saying this in this video, do not go upstairs to look for questions to ask the woman in the moment. It won't work. It won't work because it won't be a true connection there. The connection will be a full connection. It will be a very pseudo connection if you're trying to go upstairs and find the right question in the moment to ask her so that you can feel a connection with her. So, logic to logic, is a channel that never works with connection. Then you have logic to heart, where the one person is in the heart and the other person is in logic. And as the person is in, in their heart, that means that they're connected to the moment because the heart is in the moment. And the other person, they're in their mind, which means that the channel is in parallels. So this person is trying to feel this way and this person is trying to feel logically. These two channels will never ever be able to cross because they're parallels. And as people move into these parallel type of interactions, that's when they're on a different page. So one person may be talking about something with emotional language, another person may be talking about something with logical language. And they never ever match up because their channels are so not on the same wavelength. 
And this is where most guys try to do it when they're in a the moment with a woman. Because I told you, like, like most of the times, when you're in front of a woman, most of the time she connected to the moment with her heart. She is. And that's one thing I love about women is that they're so connected to the moment with their heart. And they're so in a moment with you. And you can see it when you're looking around. Like, look at a man and look at this woman. The woman is so in his eyes and like so connected to the moment. And the guy, he may even be looking around. You know, he may be there with her, but he may look around and do stuff. But she's so connected to the moment. It's amazing to see. And as you become somebody that's more connected to the moment, you'll move into the place where it's heart to heart. This now is where con connection can happen. This is where the woman is completely connected to the moment and you are. And as you both are con completely connected to the moment, you can have a true connection. But the connection cannot happen if you are on parallels or you are up here, both of you. Most of the times a woman is here, but a woman may get up in her mind too. So if you really want to have a connection with a woman, you have to understand that this present moment now and me being bodily aware, me really being in my body, and if I try to find the answer right now up here, I'm completely not connected to the moment, which means that connection can happen. So it requires you, with your breath, like I always say, with your breath, being able to soften yourself, really soften your face, really allow yourself to be really completely physically soft. And you'll notice yourself, your awareness sink low. And you'll become heavy in your feet. And as you become heavy in your feet, you'll notice that the moment becomes more connected. And as you become more connected to the moment, connection flow is there. Connection flow happens when two people are fully connected to the moment, heart connected. And you can say connected or heart connected, but this moment with this woman is going to help you the most. So what happens when you go into freak out though? Because you're like, all right, well, Anthony, I understand that. I understand that, you know, being in the moment is going to allow me to have a connection with the girl. I understand that the heart is in the now and the mind is in the past or the future. The only way I can truly have a connection is in the now because energetically what's happening here is going to be important. What do I do when I go into freak out? Now, when you go into freak out, the thing for you to do is to... Okay, I feel myself, okay, what's this thing I should say right now? Whether you be standing next to her or you're walking with her, give yourself time. You need to give yourself time for something to arise. Your first reaction needs to pass for your response to come. And this is what some guys don't understand is that the first thing that happens when they go into freak out is reaction. And as a reaction happens, they want to just uh, react to that and go, okay, okay, I need to make sure that I'm not being quiet right now because that means that if I'm quiet, that, that I'm not good with the conversation. So I'm just going to say the first thing that comes to me. So, so are you enjoying your time? And she goes, yeah, I am. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And he's just reacting to everything that's happening inside of him to try to make the moment last. He's scared of losing her attention. He's scared that uh, she may think that he's not good at conversationalist. He has all these things and it stops him from having a connection in the moment. So the moment you feel yourself going into freak out and you feel like, fuck, I ran out of things to say or, oh my God, I want to have a connection with this woman, but I can't really feel into what's happening. You need to allow yourself to be connected to this moment by coming to your breath. Being able to go, oh my God, I'm free. And she may think you're strange, man. She may think you're strange for you coming to your breath. But what does that do for her as well? That gives her a chance to fill in the space. You don't have to be in a rush. Stop being in a rush to have a connection with a woman. The connection is the beautiful part. It's a beautiful part of the process. You need to fall in love with having a connection. Because then the, con the connection part is where you start to really get attuned to the other person. I mean really get attuned to the person energetically. You start to really feel into, oh my God, this woman is fiery. I love that. And you can feel the fire even if she's a person that's very, very calm. But you can feel the fire underneath. You can feel by the way she speaks about things. I'm like, oh, that feels great. Maybe she's a girl who's really, really, really like passionate and speaks about stuff. But you notice underneath she's really soft. You can feel into that by being connected to the moment. Because of me, I'm a person that's very, very fiery. I'm a super fiery person, but I'm very, very soft in the way that I am. I am. I'm very, very lovely. But if somebody really feels into the moment with me, and they hear the way I speak, and they uh, feel the clarity that I come with, they'll know that I'm a fire underneath. So to be able to know these things requires you being in the moment. And as you're going to freak out, give yourself time through your breath. And yes, it may be freaky, she may think you're strange, but it's okay. But you need to know what it's like to be connected to the moment when you're freaking out, man. 
You can freak out and come back to the moment. It's a choice. You have a choice point at any moment to be with her or to be upstairs. To be with her, to be upstairs. To have an emotional connection or to be upstairs and trying to figure things out logically. You make the choice and watch your interactions unfold in a new way. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. And if you want to do coaching with me, I'll be here in the U.S. until January. So you know what you got to do, man. You got to hit up Sean. You got to tell him, you know, I want to coach with Tony Solo because he's the only one in America. And I'll say, great, man. I look forward to seeing you soon. Or I look forward to the new subscriber that you are. I'm out.